today's subject is the breaking of financial bondage very many of you are uh, suffering financially i mean some of you say that i have some bondage in my financial area i am unable to find out brother mario i see i i am i am doing hard work i am doing smart work and i am earning but there is no saving not only there is no savings i am in rental house many years now still i am unable to buy an apartment my own you know i do have children and wife and i want to settle them uh, peacefully somewhere in our own place but we are unable to do it and many of them are saying that the rich are becoming rich always and they are becoming more rich every day and the poor are becoming poor day by day what is the reason and if you ask me what is the reason there are many reason according to the bible now today for the session let me read from 25th chapter of gospel of matthew verses 14 onwards i repeat gospel of matthew chapter 25 verses 14 onwards let me read that because this is very very important paragraph and if you are able to understand the meaning of these paragraph definitely you will become rich and you will be able to support many poor family surrounding your place where you live now again it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them jesus is giving an example a rich man he wants to go for a journey but before going for a journey what he did is he entrusted all the property to some people see which means god trusted this people only you see if i am going somewhere from my hometown i hand over my wealth only to the people whom i trust sincerely and genuinely so make sure that god trusts you only if god trusts you with full heart then he will entrust his property in your hand so that you can become rich and let me read the balance to one he gave five bags of gold to another two bags and to another one bag each according to his ability remember that my brothers and sisters each according to ability one person god gave five gold coin another one two gold coin and another one one gold coin and he divided it according to the ability so remember god gives you money if he trust you second god gives you money according to your ability i mean according to your talent what talent you have do you have the talent of painting or do you have the talent of uh, fa- you know farming or do you have the talent of uh, working in medical field engineering or scientist or driver or mechanic what talent you have if you ask me mario what talent you have i have the talent of preaching so according to this talent he entrusts the wealth in my hand so each according to their talent once again i want to say if you are not able to use your talent properly you will never receive wealth from almighty god in another word i will say if you are a lazy bug god is not going to bless you financially so always remember that you must be keep working simply sitting at home and drinking beer and watching tv and chewing groundnut you will never become rich you may say that brother mario i am going every day for holy mass uh, and i am uh, doing my family prayer every day i am saying novena and i am attending routine i am doing many 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 other spiritual activities many ritual activities but i am not blessed financially why because you are lazy according to your talent god blesses you so two things i said here the first thing god must trust you the second god must know your talent accordingly he will hand over his wealth and to your hand and then the balance then he went on his journey very simply because jesus trust this people he handed over the gold and he went on his journey he did not give any advice what to do with the money what i gave you because jesus knows what they will do 
so on if when god handed over you the money the gold coin or whatever it may be uh, he won't tell you what you have to do he knows you have the talent and with the talent you must increase it and you know what the man did we read the man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more wow when god gave him five gold coin he immediately went and worked with that money maybe he must have purchased many things and sold it for more money whatever it may be he increased into 10 and when and the another man so also the one with the two bags of gold gained two more so the person who received two coin he also went and worked with that two coins and earned four but the man who had received one bag went off dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money but the person who received one coin you know what he did he went and dig a hole and he hid his money there this is what the problem with us sometime lazy man god gives him god blesses him but he is very lazy because when he gets something he thinks that i should not uh, i know i don't need to work anymore i don't need to increase my money it is better to sit at home like a lazy bug watching tv or scrolling on uh, youtube or facebook whatever it may be uh, you know drinking some beer and sitting at home and not taking care of the family becoming very lazy this third person is one among that i think very many of us are doing the same thing once if we get little what we need we are satisfied we never think about increasing our wealth anyway you know what happened after long time the master of those servants returned and settled account with them wow after long time the master came back and settled account with them here my brother and my sister you must know one thing our god is the god of accountability if he gives you anything he will ask account one day he will ask the account of time which he gave to you he will ask the account of your health which he gave to you he will ask the account of your family members whom he gave to you he will ask the account of money which he gives to you one day you and i must be accountable to almighty god that's what here we read and then the man who had received five bags of gold brought to the other five so he brought 10 master he said you entrusted me with the five bags of gold see i have gained five more his master replied well done good and faithful servant listen my brothers and sisters if god want to call you good and faithful servant you must increase the wealth what he gave to you when this gentleman who received five gold coin increased into 10 gold coin jesus says that well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful with few things i will put you in charge of many things because he is faithful in what god gave to him which he worked and increased god says that i will give you more i will give you away again more come and share your master's happiness that is such a beautiful and lovely and incredible invitation come and share in the master's happiness so when god handed over you some money without becoming lazy if you are working and if you are doing hard work and smart work and increasing that money he will say you are good and faithful since you are faithful with little things i will give you more and more not only that come and enjoy my happiness the happiness of almighty father such a lovely invitation yeah and this invitation is received by the people who are faithful with the money which god gave to them 
many a times what happen with me or with you and many of us when we get more money we increase the standard of our life from ordinary shirt we go to the brand shirt from ordinary shoe we will go to the branded shoe and from ordinary tiles of the house we will go to the branded tiles and we increase the standard of our life instead we must increase the money what god gave to us and then we must use it for his people and if we are able to use it for his kingdom for his church and for the needy people then you can share the happiness with the master and balance we read then the man who had received one bag of gold coin sorry before that we must read the man with the two bag of gold also came master he said you entrusted me with the two bags of gold see i have gained two more his master replied well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful with a few things i will put you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness so for both these people the, the one who received with five gold coin and the one who received with two gold coin since they increased it master appreciated them blessed them and gave them more and master invited them to enjoy the happiness of the master and now the last one the one we read like this then the man who had received with one bag of gold came master he said i knew that you are a hard man harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered scattered seed so i was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground see here is what belongs to you you know you know three things you must know here the first thing this person who received one coin he was jealous of master he says master you are gathering from the place you did not harvest you did not sow and you are so cruel master so this gentleman is jealous of rich people this is very bad my brothers and sisters many times in our family we backed by the rich people we backed by the luxurious people Uh, it is not it is good not because, good because it, shows it shows that you are jealous of them jealousy is a sin many times we forget this grave sin you know it is very dangerous sin and it is very uh, you know a spoiled sin it can spoil our life that's what happened for this gentleman he is jealous of his master because master is very rich and the second thing he is afraid of the master fear if you have any fear in your life you will not receive in abundance if god wants to break the bondage of financial area in your life my brothers and sisters there should not be any fear if you are afraid to begin a new business if you are afraid to invest in a place if you are afraid uh, to do some joint venture if you are afraid to do anything definitely you will never get any blessing it is always a risk wearing you know believe in the lord trust in the lord and pray to the lord with good intention remove the fear and jump out and work definitely god will bless you that is what my experience many times in my life you know sometimes my wife and my children and my wife's parents they all say don't do don't do don't do don't do many things but i pray to the lord i remove the fear and do and then the success is with me so my brothers and sisters the fear and jealousy was the problem with this gentleman and see the, what the master said his master replied you wicked lazy servant so you know that i harvest where i have not sown and gather where i have not scattered seed well then you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when i return i would have received it back with interest at least you see my brothers and sisters when when god gives you something never be lazy with that something you must do and increase the wealth for the benefit of this universe this society this nature otherwise 
you know the next word so take the bag of gold from him and give to the one who has 10 bags for whoever has will be given more and then will have in a, will have an abundance listen from that one coin Jesus said take Jesus that said, take one from, from him from and give to the one who has the 10 coin. coin and then Jesus says from the people who doesn't have will be taken out and to the people who has will given will be given more this is why many times poor people are becoming poor day by day and the rich people are becoming day by day rich and you can become rich only if you are keep working without becoming lazy and if you are lazy what you have that will be taken from you and handed over to the person who is ready to work whoever does not have even that they have will be taken from them and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be sweeping and gnashing of teeth that is talking about the hell in a metaphorical way but anyway my brothers and sisters from this paragraph there you know for this parable there are a spiritual meaning and worldly meaning but since our subject is a financial breakthrough i want to tell you these five important points that god handed over the money only to the people whom he trust the second god handed over money to the people according to their talent and then third god always you know he ask accountability for the things what he gave to you and god expect you to increase it and use it for his kingdom and if you are a lazy bug from you whatever he gave he will take and will give to the people those who have more in plenty so the poor will become more poor and rich will become more rich by this example or by this you must understand how you can become a rich